Now, I want to thank and praise God to be able to be in your house of the Lord again, to be here to minister one more time. And thank you for letting me come into your homes and bring the Word of God to help each one out of the problems and the troubles that they might be in this day. There's only one help there is for uh, the nation today, for the people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that help uh, is through Jesus Christ uh, and his uh, uh, death and atonement upon Calvary. Praise the Lord. is the only, only way to give a sound mind uh, is through Christ Jesus. The only way to have a hope uh, in this world or the next uh, is believing upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, getting back uh, 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 to the principles and the doctrines uh, of the Word of God. Hey Amen. Getting back to the truth uh, of God's Word. Getting back to the absolutes uh, of God's Word. Praise the Lord. Where, wherein there was power, wherein there was a, a, a spirit of power, the Holy Ghost was moving. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, uh, to get back, uh, hallelujah, to bring back into the church the joy uh, of thy salvation. Uh, King David said, I, 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 I return unto me the joy of my salvation. There is joy, hallelujah, in serving the Lord. There's a peace in serving Jesus Christ, hallelujah, because he's the mediator between you and me and God, hallelujah. Uh, we need to bring back, uh, hallelujah, the things uh, that have been taken away from the church uh, over the uh, uh, last uh, 20 years uh, or so. Praise the Lord, there's been a drastic change uh, in uh, the church world uh, as, uh, 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 as we know it. Praise the Lord. Uh, when I say the church, uh, I don't mean a denomination. Uh, I mean those uh, that say that they're born again. Uh, they're uh, uh, filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah. Born of the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, the, uh, there's been a drastic change uh, in the way, uh, hallelujah, of the Lord. Uh, and it's not God's fault. Uh, it's the fault of the people, praise the Lord. Uh, I want to read in Jeremiah's gospel. Uh, uh, if you don't have your Bible open right now, jot down Jeremiah s chapter 6, verses 16 and 17. Hallelujah. Jeremiah writing, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see... As for the old paths, uh, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest uh, for your souls. But they said, we will not walk uh, therein. Praise the Lord. So there's come a, there came a time uh, in the church, praise the Lord, uh, where holiness uh, and righteousness uh, began to be a decline. Uh, the, the, the holiness way, uh, the spirit of God uh, uh, was starting to diminish from the church. Uh, and the older preachers uh, were preaching, uh, 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 don't change, uh, keep the gospel clean, keep it good, keep it going, praise the Lord. But as the younger ones came up, uh, as the younger ministers came up to uh, in the Pentecost, praise the Lord, they, they found a new way, uh, they found uh, 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 another way, uh, but there's only one way, uh, and that's the way that the Word of God says. Uh, they begin, uh, hallelujah, to take this out of the Word of God and take that out of the Word of God and say this isn't needful anymore or that's not needful anymore. Uh, but uh, uh, what they didn't understand was, uh, hallelujah, when you take things out of the Word of God and you take God out of the worship, uh, the power of God leaves the church uh, and then you're on your own. Uh, you're doing your own thing and Instead of doing that which God uh, has called the church to do, the church isn't a building. The church uh, is 
the blood washed people, praise the Lord, that believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And here in Jeremiah, this in this part, they did the same thing. They traveled away from the, the oracles and the principles of God. They got to look in a far way and begin to walk contrary to God's word. And God was speaking to them. Here he said, come back. Come back to the old paths. Come back to the old ways. Hallelujah. And I'm saying today, it's time that Pentecost comes back to the roots where there was power in the church, where the church walked according to God's word, where the church walked, hallelujah, according to the Bible. Hallelujah. Whatever God said in his word, praise the Lord, there was a time when the people walked in it no matter anybody else did or not when they found the truth of God's word they believed it and they believed God said what he meant and meant what he said and they began to walk the way God says to walk they began to live the way God says to live the things of the church they don't preach sanctification anymore there's a there's still a church Hallelujah, that's holding up the blood-stained banner. There's still a people, hallelujah, that are walking up right before God. There's still a people that's preaching the Word of God. There's still a people, hallelujah, that is walking up right before God. But the church as a whole, hallelujah, doesn't preach sanctification anymore. Sanctification is nothing more or less in separating yourself from the things of the world huh, and drawing close to God. Huh, hallelujah. Not taking on the form of the world. Huh, hallelujah. Not looking like the world. Not smelling like the world. Not acting like the world. Huh, but coming out from among the world huh, and being a separated people. Huh, zealous of good works. Huh, a peculiar people. Praise the Lord. Huh, unto God. Huh, hallelujah. Not looking like everything everything else but looking huh, like a child of God the way the Bible says to praise the Lord so God was calling these people here in Jeremiah's time hallelujah back to the old paths huh? come back and walk in the old statutes huh? walk in the standards that God had laid down walk in the standards that God led huh? hallelujah for uh, Moses huh? hallelujah to walk huh, in the statutes and the commandments huh? But they said, we will not. We want our way. We want to do our thing. And that's what happened back in the early 80s on up. I saw a drastic change in the Pentecostal church in what we call Pentecostal. Hallelujah. Pentecostal is just a, a name given to a, a, an experience. Hallelujah. Uh, Pentecost is not a name of a church, uh, but it is an experience uh, in Acts 2 and 4. Uh, hallelujah. On the day which is called Pentecost, uh, hallelujah, they, they received the Holy Ghost. Uh, on the day of Pentecost, uh, they received the experience of the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Uh, hallelujah. So they took on the name of Pentecostal. Uh, but Pentecost isn't a religion. Uh, Pentecost uh, is an experience. Uh, it's a walking experience that you have uh, with God, uh, which is the Holy Ghost uh, and fire. Uh, hallelujah. The fire uh, is going out of the church anymore. The reading and the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ with power is not in the established church anymore. Uh, hallelujah. It's gone. Uh, we don't see a move of the Spirit anymore. Uh, they've left the world come in and begin to lead the song services in a lot of places calling themselves Christians. Hallelujah. But they taking on the things of the world. I'm telling you, it's time to get back to where there's a separation of God's people. Hallelujah. That God might be pleased. 
God is not pleased uh, with the preachers, praise the Lord, that are not preaching the truth of God's word, that have uh, taken on the form of the world. Uh, Paul wrote and said, have this mind in you that was in Christ Jesus. He said, don't be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We don't need to take on the form of the world. Don't conform to this world. Don't look like this world. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. But with Jesus Christ, hallelujah, if they would call upon him and begin to walk in the gospel, begin to walk the way God said to walk. Hallelujah. They could have a peace of mind in this world that's going crazy. That he would give them a peace that passeth all understanding. They wouldn't need psychiatrists. They wouldn't need drugs to try to find a peace. They wouldn't need alcohol to try to find the peace. Hallelujah. He said he give a peace that passeth all understanding. Praise the Lord. He said he, 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 he called them. He said walk therein. Where is the good way? There's a good way. The word of God is good. The word of God is true. Hallelujah. And people have perverted the word of God uh, to meet their own standards, uh, perverted the word of God, uh, and refuse uh, uh, to preach uh, the whole gospel of Jesus Christ uh, because they want the, the guilt, they want the finances, they want the big crowds. Uh, hallelujah. You can have the big crowds and have the power of God too. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you've got, got the big crowds uh, and you're compromising and you're not preaching holiness and righteousness, you're not preaching salvation through Jesus Christ, uh, separation from the world, uh, hallelujah, you're just letting your people go any way they want to go as long as dress any way they want to dress as long as they come to church, uh, hallelujah, you might have the big congregation but you'll not have the power of God, hallelujah. Any time, in any church period, go to Revelations, read the first, the seven churches of Revelations. Hallelujah. The first six churches, he says, I have somewhat against you because you left your first love. He said, uh, come back uh, to your first love. Uh, he found something about them. Uh, then the Philadelphian church, that's the revival church. Uh, that's the church, uh, hallelujah, that, uh, that we're in today, the revival church, praise the Lord. Uh, and then you got the, the uh, church of the Laodiceans, which is the compromising church. Uh, it came out of this church that we're in. It came out of the church of brotherly love. Uh, they they backslid lit upon God. Hallelujah. And took on the manners of the world. And they're compromising with the things of God, with the things of the world. Hallelujah. Not preaching the word of God. But they need to come back to the old paths. Where is the good way? Hallelujah. There's a good way. You've got to make a choice. Good and evil are set before you this day. You've got to choose which way you want to go. You can choose heaven or you can choose hell. It's up to you. God gives you a free will. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary that you could go to heaven. But if you don't want that, the devil's already got you. He's already ready for you to come to hell. Hallelujah. But hell wasn't prepared for you. Hell wasn't prepared for man. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. Man chooses to go there because he, uh, he chooses to not worship God. He chooses to go to hell. He chooses to walk contrary to God's word. Church people in churches today shouting their heels off. Don't know what they're shouting about. Seen it. Hallelujah. But God's got a real. There wouldn't be a counterfeit if it wasn't the real. Hallelujah. 
You can hook up to the hot wire. You can hook up to the power of God. Hallelujah. And it won't have to be a counterfeit. You don't have to put on the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah will move through you. You don't see the miracles happening on the scales. Hallelujah that they did back in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, up through the 70s. Uh, hallelujah. You don't see a move of the Spirit the way you did then uh, because uh, they've let down uh, on the principles of God. They've let down uh, and, uh, and destroyed uh, and took from uh, uh, the church many things that God wanted to do. People say you shouldn't dress on, uh, 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 preach on dress the way people dress. God's got a dress standard, praise the Lord, for his children. Adam and Eve, when they fell in the garden, they had fig leaves on. God said, that's not enough. He killed animals and made clothes to cover their nakedness. Hallelujah. On down through the Bible, he tells them how how to dress, how to cover themselves, how to conduct themselves, how to live, how to walk, how to talk. Hallelujah. But people says, I want to do my own thing. I want to go my way. You go your way. Hallelujah. And it'll take you to hell. It's time the preachers begin to preach the word of God. Hallelujah. The way it's there. The way the old timers, the old uh, apostles preached it. Uh, hallelujah. I've been in Pentecost uh, since six years old. Uh, I was raised in Pentecost. Praise the Lord. I was raised in Pentecost. Been preaching 40, 42 years. Uh, 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 40, uh, 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 44 years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Been preaching uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. I've never changed the word. Uh, I've never changed what I'm preaching. I'm still preaching what I preached 46 years, 42 years ago. Hallelujah. I'll soon be 68 years old. For 62 years, I had it drilled into me. Hallelujah. I'm even 68. I'm sorry. I am 68 now. Praise the Lord for 62 years. Hallelujah. I've, I've had it drilled into me. I've read the Word of God. I've heard it taught. I've heard it preached. When they preached it, so hot huh, that uh, you just about they preached hell so hot you just about felt it burning on your feet and you could just about smell the smoke. I'm telling you back then people ran to the altars uh, because of the conviction of the Holy Ghost. Uh, now the people's afraid to say Holy Ghost. Uh, they call it the Holy Spirit. Uh, that's like calling me uh, a Marvin Collar. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, 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 it's the Holy Ghost. Uh, now God is a spirit uh, and God's spirit is holy uh, but he's only one person of the Godhead. Jesus is the second and the Holy Ghost is the third, praise the Lord. He's a separated one, praise the Lord, but they agree as one in everything, praise the Lord. So when you take the Holy Ghost out of the church, uh, praise the Lord, you take the Spirit of God out of the church, there's no power. Uh, hallelujah. I remember reading in there where Paul said, I want to know Jesus uh, and uh, the power of His resurrection. Praise the Lord. I want to know Him and the power of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. I want to go over the, the church world is about like it is right now. Hallelujah. I want to read here in the book of 2 Timothy, the third chapter. I want to read this, the first five verses. It says, Know this also, that in the last days, Perilous times uh, shall come. Perilous times are coming, praise the Lord. They're here. There's perilous times around. Uh, there's killings. There's hijackings. There's robberies. Uh, there's uh, all kinds of things going on. Uh, hallelujah. We're living in the last days. We're living in the days when Jesus said, Hallelujah, the trumpet of God was going to sound and the dead in Christ is going to raise first. And we that are alive and remaining, that are filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, are going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. And those uh, were going to to go to meet him in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. We're living in that day. He's soon to come. 
For he said, men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Hallelujah. And that's what we see in the church world today. They're running amok. They need to get back to the old paths. They need to get back to the altar and renew their covenant with God through Jesus Christ and let the blood of Jesus Christ wash their sins away again. Let him deliver them out of sin and bring them back into the family of God that they may work for him, that they may walk in his power and his spirit. Without natural affection, church world today, ordaining homosexuals and lesbians to preach the gospel, not, with, not without natural affections. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Man with man, woman with woman. Hallelujah. That's not what God set up. He made them Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Hallelujah. He made them a man and a woman, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, because of the filth and the sin and what was going on in there. Hallelujah. Without natural affections, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, Fierce despisers of those that are good. Praise the Lord. That's all in here today. Hallelujah. In the church, a lot of times, they don't want the Word of God preached and they run off anybody that wants to preach it. But I'm telling you, hallelujah, you better get a hold of the Word of God. You better begin to walk and talk and live in the Word of God and in the power of God. God's not playing church. So he says they're traitors, uh, heady, high-minded, uh, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. Uh, you can see them in all the pleasure places, uh, six days a week. Uh, you can see them out to there in this place and that place, down at that place, at the pools, at the spas, at the gyms, working out. Hallelujah. The lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God and wondering why God isn't touching them, wondering why God isn't doing anything for them. God said, if you'll draw nigh unto me, I'll draw nigh unto you. But if you turn from me, he said he'd turn from you. Hallelujah. God's turning from people today. Praise the Lord. Here he says in the fifth verse, having a form of godliness. They look like a godliness. They look like to the church. They look like they're living holy. They look like they love the Lord. But, hallelujah, denying the power thereof from such turn away. Hallelujah. They're just going through the formals, going through the formalities. Minister friend of mine said one time, he said, he said, uh, he was preaching in the pulpit and he said, uh, a lot of the churches, uh, when the rapture takes place, they'll just continue right on preaching and they'll continue uh, right on shouting and not know the rapture has ever taken place because they're in Hollywood. They're putting on a show. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank God that there's something real. It's real. It's real. I know it's real. That Pentecost, that Holy Ghost power is real. Hallelujah. And the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn out the dross and make you right and holy and righteous to get to heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church people, you better get right with God. You're walking on thin ice. Uh, holiness has been made out of the church. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we went to a, a, a wedding. Praise the Lord. Uh, a, 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 one of the, uh, our family was getting married, and, and I was outside uh, walking around on uh, the house, and uh, some of the children was out there, and, and the one fella, he came over uh, with his family. All his family went in. He stood out there talking to the, to the children out there, uh, and uh, and they asked him, said, you going to church like that? You going over to the church like that? 
And he says, yeah, he was in Bermuda shorts. He said, God doesn't have a dress code. The only thing he has, he's concerned about is my soul. He said, Lord, I come close to just this close uh, to asking him who was what preacher was lying to him. He said, Lord, God does have a dress code. God shut my mouth up and wouldn't let me say it. I, I told the wife about it later, and she says, hey, you did good. Let's keep your mouth shut. Not causing me problems uh, today. Praise the Lord. I will. I will get the opportunity to see him again, and I will ask him who he's been uh, listening to and who's been preaching to him. Praise the Lord. God has a dress code. Hallelujah. And uh, back in the Bible, he says, praise the Lord. Uh, he said, uh, men not to wear the clothes that pertaineth to the woman, and the woman not to wear the clothes that pertaineth unto the man, because it's an abomination. That's what the lesbians and the homosexuals do. Holiness. Take it away from the church. The power of God. Leaving the churches, the established churches. Leaving the churches because they're not preaching the truth. They're not setting a standard. They're not holding up a standard that was in the beginning. They've walked away from the word of God. Hallelujah. Then in the 17th verse here, I want to get with it now. Also, I set watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Hallelujah. That's what happened uh, back in the early 80s. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, they, uh, the, the older preachers were preaching righteousness. They were preaching holiness. Uh, but the younger preachers, uh, they had a new way, as I said before. Uh, they wouldn't hearken. Uh, hallelujah. The preachers were blowing the trumpet. They were sounding the alarm uh, that the enemy was trying to invade the church. Uh, but they wouldn't listen. Uh, they walked in their own ways. Uh, and sooner or later they knew, uh, being the younger preachers, that they was going to be able to take over later on when the older ones died off. Uh, and that's what happened. Uh, and then they started bringing things in. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, uh, the shorts, uh, uh, the uh, all of these things, they're acceptable now. They wasn't acceptable uh, back when I was uh, uh, young and coming up through Pentecost. Today, they're still not acceptable. God says to hide your nakedness, cover your nakedness. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He even told Noah, uh, uh, Moses, uh, he said, tell Aaron uh, not to build any steps up to the altar uh, lest the people see his nakedness. Uh, his nakedness, uh, they, they would have been able to see his ankles. Uh, he was fully clothed. Uh, hallelujah. But his hands, his head, and his feet. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. He was fully clothed. Uh, and God didn't want them to see him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It reminds me, praise the Lord, the church sometimes reminds me about the, the, the man in the, uh, in the tombs when Jesus stepped off the boat in the uh, land of the Gadarenes. Uh, that the man was in the tombs. Uh, he was crazy. Uh, he was possessed. Uh, they couldn't, keep, couldn't keep, keep clothes on him. Uh, he'd tear his clothes off. Uh, they'd chain him. He'd break the chains. Uh, he'd run around in the tombs, uh, hollering and screaming. Uh, and somebody would walk by. He'd chase them down the road. I uh, uh, just carried on. But when Jesus stepped onto the shore, he came running out of the tombs and bowed down before Jesus. And those devils said, Hallelujah. The devil said, have you come to torment us before our time? And you can read the rest of the story. I want to get here to where I want to pray for you. If you've been living loose, if you haven't been living close to God, every preacher, you ain't been preaching the truth of God's word. You haven't been holding up the standard of God of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you right now. Sinner, if you're listening to me, Jesus died on the cross that you could be be saved, sickness uh, to be healed by his stripes. 
Pray with me. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord of God, that your Holy Ghost power, God, went through this uh, 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 service today, Father, and touched each and every one, O oh Lord, of oh God, that's listening. Father, those, O oh Lord, of oh God, that are sick and afflicted, Lord, uh, we pray, Lord, the power of God to heal them, Lord, deliver them and set them free of your people. Father, those, O oh Lord, that are in sin that are calling out to you right now, hallelujah, I pray, God, let the blood of Jesus Christ uh, I wash away every guilty stain, hallelujah, that they be made whole by the blood of Jesus Christ. And preachers that are not preaching the truth, the Holy Ghost, deal with them, Lord, bring them back. We pray, Lord, the power of thee to move and to minister, Lord, to meet every need, I pray. Oh, God, use us, so oh Lord, for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Maybe may God bless you, may God keep you, and guide you. He's all you need. He's all you need. He'll give you a sound mind. He'll give you a peace that passeth all understanding. He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus. Is all I need. He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus is all I need.